Hello, today we are playing Pokemon and whatever I catch, I have to stitch. Okay, so we are playing Fire Red today and that's just because Red was like the first Pokemon game I ever played and so it's always had this very special place in my heart. It also means that today we will only be encountering Gen 1 Pokemon. Now it is randomized, so I don't know what I'm going to encounter where. All right, so basically all I have to do in this first section is get my starter. Now the starters have been randomized as well, so I don't know what's going to be in any of the balls. Okay, there are the three. Now do I want to go for one, two, or three? I'm going to roll the dice. Alright, I rolled a one, so I guess I have to go for a one. So, the first one we are going to be... Sorry, he's still talking. Okay, here we go. First one we are making today is going to be... Oh, yes! It's Gengar! He's one of my favourites! I was really hoping that he would come up on the list! Oh, what a starter as well! Yes, yes, I will take him! <laughs> Okay, so now I need to stop playing and make him really quickly. Right, so I was clearly a bit excited to get Gengar. The portraits are super sweet in this particular version, but the first decision I made was that he needed his mouth open, tongue out. It's quintessential Gengar. Plus, it turns out he was a naughty nature, so it worked out perfectly. When building a three-dimensional mouth, the pieces always look super funny, and this was no exception, but sometimes even I have to trust the process. I swapped the eyes out a couple of times, eventually settling on a larger pair. Now they don't match the rest of the set, but I do think they're right for him. I thought I was done. Then I remembered that he had spikies all down his back. So I made a bunch of little cones and stitched them down his back. So, what? Six hours later, <laughs> we have finished our starter Pokemon. I was promising myself I was going to keep this project little and simple, but then it was Gengar, and I could not, I couldn't do my boy dirty. So, now, I got so excited when I saw who I had picked that I actually don't know what the other two options for starters could have been and I actually don't know what my arrival has chosen either. Okay, so I looked it up afterwards and the potential starters for this particular randomized file were Gengar, Grime, and Metapod. So I got really lucky with that dice roll because I was definitely not going to go for number one. I probably would have ended up with the Metapod. So now we need to hop back into game and go and catch our second Pokemon. <laughs> Grimer was one of the other options. Oh, I would have done the mouth the exact same way. Okay, time for the battle, I guess. Now, I've already decided that if I encounter any duplicates in the wild of any that I've already made, which you can see in the background here, it uh, doesn't count, and I get to, like, find a different one. Yay, spiky boo! Yes, beat up the children and make them poor! Ooh, free potion. Uh, I'm just trying to get through this first grassy area as quickly as possible because I don't have the ability to catch anything and I don't want to like run into something I want to make or worse run into something I don't want to make. I'm kind of living in... Ah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. They're a wild Articuno on Route 1. Okay, I don't have... I don't have the balls in at least two different ways right now to deal with this. So I'm gonna run. Oh god, if I catch it, I have to make it. Oh, don't hurt me. I get out of the grass. No. So it looks like Route 1 has um retyped itself as ice. I can't remember what I'm supposed to do here. It'll be something to do with the Pokemon. But, okay, I'm not playing Nuzlocke rules per se, but I'm going to not, like, grind until I have filled up my entire roster on one round. I do want to like play a little bit of the game. So uh, I will only catch the first one I encounter on Route 1 once I have Pokeballs. Ah, I 
they won't let me buy them. Okay. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Ah, yes. I am. I am quite talented. Here, have the parcel and give me balls. Yes. Okay. Hypothetically, that should be enough to get this job done. Okay. If it has to be Articuno or Jinx, I hope it's Articuno. I will, I will encounter something on this route though. I'm sure. I'd have to. Okay, here we go. That, friends, is an Articuno. Let's see if I can catch it. I've got five Pokeballs. I'm not allowed to run away. So let's put you to sleep. I missed. Ah, don't kill me. You're only a level 3 bird. You just need to chill out a little bit. Ah, hold down B. One, two, three. Yeah. Alright. The second member of my team is going to be a legendary bird. Okay, so we'll just give her a nickname and we'll check to see if she's got a nature. Nugget. Because she's a bird and she's a, she's a frozen bird, you know. Chicken nugget. So now, before I can go any further in the story, I have to go make an Articuno. She is my favorite of the legendary birds. I just wasn't expecting to see her today. She's a great example of why I always draw the creature I'm making first, even if there are reference images. As I drew her, I realized that she wasn't that complicated. She was just a basic penguin with a bunch of fancy accessories attached. So I started working on my basic penguin. I built the beak straight into the head by shoving a picot in the middle of a cluster stitch. <laughs> I also built the tummy fluff straight off a series of front loops I left free on the neck. So then you take your basic penguin, give it a fancy hat, you fill it with dreams. And then make it the drama. All in all, it's way less intimidating than I thought it was going to be. And no, I'm not sure how I got the tail to curl like that. I just wanted it to, and it did. <laughs> so did you ever just impress the crap out of yourself? So uh, there is our frozen chicken nugget. And at this point, I kind of feel like I've earned a Jigglypuff. Or a Volt Orb. So, we're just going to pull up the game again. Okay, so we're currently in Viridian City. Uh, I might duck into Route 22 to see what we can pick up in there. Or should I continue on into Viridian Forest? I've kind of got two options there. I know that uh, in the unscrambled version of the game, Route 22 is pretty good for things like... Let's see, there's Mankey and, and the, the Nidorans, and occasionally like a Nidorino or a Nidorino, depending on the version that you've got. But I don't think any of that knowledge is actually helpful <laughs> in this game. Now I don't want to run out of Pokeballs, so we'll just spend all of our money. Okay, so if I, I should be able to fill a team pretty easily with 15 Pokeballs, right? I, I've got enough, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, decision, we're going up to Route 2. No, I don't. <laughs> Dude, I caught an Articuno like two minutes ago. Here we go, come on, I, I, I have earned, I have earned something nice. <gasps> Furious fire! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's so cute! Oh, I want it. It's level five. I'm gonna put it to sleep just to make sure, because I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to squish. I don't want to squish the tiny fox. Oh, that's so many tails. Ah. All right, everybody, hold B for me. One, two, three. Okay, six tails, that's important. Well, yeah, we're gonna name it. And normally I would go with Pixie, but today I'm gonna go with Browser. Because it's a Firefox. She, oh, she's holding something. I have a team of all girls. Or, or gender neutrals. Girls and gender neutrals. Rash nature. Okay, so can't really depict that. I kind of wish it was something like playful, you know? There it is, Rostberry. I might give her a little Rostberry to hold as well, depending on what that looks like. If it's too complicated, I've already kind of signed up for six tails, and that's enough for me. Okay, I got four. I got the colours that I need here. I had to completely butcher my display, but I got the colours. The colour match on this one is really hard. I think that works. Okay, we we actually have our colours this time. Now I planned on making Volpix teeny tiny, but there was a limiting factor: how small I could make each of the six tails. She ended up being a wee bit bigger than I originally intended because of that. And from there, just a matter of making it. I used double crochet clusters to form her curls and borrowed the ears from my squirrel. No one's gonna know, unless I tell you all, I guess. Her little Lucille ball wig. Some front legs. Some back legs. A little patch for her tummy. Now, anytime I have to make a piece more than once, it causes me physical pain. So you can imagine how I felt about these tails. Six tails? Six. Six tails. I gave them a narrow point and sewed the curl into the end, but balance didn't turn out to be an issue, as long as the feet were spaced properly. So with all the pieces made, I really just have to assemble it now, and I gotta get a wriggle on, because I gotta get at least one more Pokemon done today. See, I told myself I'd keep them simple. I had one rule. I had one rule, and that was keep them simple. And if I keep breaking my own rules like this, I'm gonna have to put myself in a timeout. I mean, is it really my fault, this one? No, it had six tails. That was going to lend itself to a certain degree of complicatedness. But <laughs> I am I'm kind of just like roll, riding this particular roller coaster over and over again for some reason expecting different results. And that is, Oh no, that looks really complicated. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Oh god, what am I gonna catch next? I'll tuck in this little lady's tufts in, and I'll be right back with you. There we go. There is our little Vulpix browser. She didn't even end up that much smaller than the other two. Yeah, depending on what we find next, it could mean that this video gets split in two. So we'll see. We'll see how we go. Fucking. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't get the fire duck. Don't get me wrong, he's he's got his charm, but like he's no Volpix. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. In, oh no, we're not heading into Diglett Cave. We are heading into Viridian Forest, traditionally a place where you would find bugs and Pikachu. So oh, I don't want to talk to a trainer. So let's see. Hey, the dude with the shorts is in here somewhere, I believe. Let's see. I pick this patch of grass. What's it gonna be? I'm so stressed. It's a Weedle! Holding B. Two, three little stars. I 
Petro's been off the charts today. There he is, or the she is. And we are, of course, going to nickname her. I'm going to call her Beads. A little look -see. I'm surprised that it still bugs in the forest. Brave nature. She is a brave little weevil. She has a lot of body segments, but I should be able to make it all in one piece. And honestly, for the other three, it's the sewing that's been taking forever. So it's kind of nice to be able to just like potentially just whip one up. We're making a weedle. I'll admit I wasn't super excited about Weedle. Once I drew the shape, it was sort of like, boom, Weedle, done. Next. There is our Weedle. So he did still end up bigger than Browser, the Vulpix. That just sort of happens to me sometimes. <laughs> at least, at least, he's not a convenient snack size for Nugget. <laughs> so far we have Spiky Boo the Gengar, we have Nugget the Articuno, we have Browser the Vulpix, and we have beads the weedle so we need to go back into viridian forest and try and get through the other side and see what we run into next there were pincers in here oh that would have been so cool why the hurry what's the rush because i'm just trying to <laughs> chuck some animals in a bag and get out that's what the rush is now i'm hoping to still keep avoiding any further legendaries but it would be nice to have something maybe yellow Okay, I made it all the way to Pewter City and have not, not trained at all. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Route 22 and see what I can catch there. Okay, so I'm back at Route 22 and this is where we will find our fifth Pokemon. Right, so I've decided that there is a clause in effect here where I don't want to double up my types. I think a good Pokemon team doesn't have type duplicates and so bug has already been taken so even though we just caught non-dairy I don't think it's going to count I want to catch something else something not a bug type oh, butterfree okay all right so at this point I'm going to go away and I'm going to train my team up and come, we're going to come back tomorrow and catch the final two team members so time jump okay so I've done that training now and it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would just because apparently even a level 2 nugget is a little bit overpowered for this kind of thing. So, as you can see here, I've got Browse is level 12, Spiky Boo is level 12, and Nugget is level 13. Beads was left at level 4 because I don't want to make a Kakuna, and if it evolves I'm going to feel obligated to, so we're just leaving him behind a little bit. Okay, we finally made it out of that cave. I kept losing the ladders, and I swear I knew the way, but it was just that they weren't rendering onto the screen where I thought they should be. So in that cave we managed to encounter Evie, who I have already made, so she doesn't count. We encountered Haunter, ghost type, doesn't count. Cloister, Dugong and Articuno, ice types, don't count. So it's a relief to be on the other side of Mount Moon, but I didn't think I'd have to work this hard to find a fifth Pokemon to join the team. So here we are on Route 4. I don't think there are any this side of- oh no look there's some! Oh, but it's the point of no return grass. I remember this grass. Once you jump down, there's no going back. Let's just see if this grass has anything new in it. Voltorb! Voltorb! Okay. I can, I can get on board with Voltorb. He's not the most exciting, but... I mean, I've technically done him before, but it's kind of one of those things where I made him like 10 years ago, so I don't really know if he can... <laughs> Okay, so after some deliberation, uh, I have decided that Voltorb will be made and will be joining the team. Oh, I should, I should probably catch him first. Oh, he popped out! Ah, I'm getting the bowl. That's better. Okay. Okay, so we are going to stop that now and we're going to very quickly work up a Voltorb because there's not a lot to a Voltorb. So. I'm going to basically create a ball, but, but a better one than that. We're going to create a ball, we are going to put a line through it, and then we are going to give it a bad attitude. I decided I was allowed to make a Voltorb again, mostly because I made the original about 10 years ago and I thought I could do better now. I scribbled down the instructions for a ball and roughly divided it into the colours. 
He's a ball, and that means that I can't hide behind any tricks if I can't make a ball. Luckily I know how to make a ball. Then I was just experimenting with a new method that I'd seen done to get a sharper finish between the two colours, using slip stitches in the back loop and then stitching over the top. And I don't know, you guys can let me know how you feel about it, just because like I'm not convinced it was worth the time. I whipped up a couple of little eyes and frankly was just pleased to get a bit of a breather from the more complex Pokemon. Plus it meant I now had immunity from Zapdos, who did turn up in the grass after I'd caught Voltorb. No. 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 So I feel I really dodged a bullet there. Okay, so there is our fifth team member, and he is filling up the electric slot. So there is the team so far, looking very handsome all there together. I'm not sure if I found that technique to be really worth it, but uh, I'm, I'm also not angry that I gave it a go. So now we just need to find the sixth and final member of our team and hope, like, I got my wish with an easy little ball, and so now we just need a showstopper. To wrap the whole thing up. Okay, so I went ahead and I had to defeat the entirety of Nugget Bridge, ironically without using Nugget, but now is the time where I can pick to catch one on, I think this is Route 24, or I can catch on Route 25. Now if I remember correctly, Route 24 is like just before Mewtwo's cave, and everything kind of jumps up a level, so uh, we're gonna go to Route 25 instead. And I've gone ahead and I've beaten this little hiker dude as well. And here is the patch of grass where we will be doing our hunting and catching our final teammate. Into the grass! <laughs> We've met our final team member! And there's only one name I can possibly use for this. Welcome to the team, Stink Blossom. You might have a lonely nature now, but you won't when I'm done with you. Despite my best effort to not duplicate any types, I think three of my Pokemon have a poison subtype. We're just gonna, we're just gonna forget about that, you know? Right, let's make him. I would have really loved an Oddish for my team, but Vileplume isn't too bad for a second prize. Like the others, I started by breaking him down into shapes and working out how I would put him all together again. I was highly amused to see the shape the body would have to be for Vileplume. It's a beaker! It was an easy enough shape, just really unexpected. The real difficulty for this little dude was in getting five petals the perfect circumference to go the whole way around the body. Luckily, maths came to the rescue on that one, thank goodness for year 11 trigonometry. I hope that whomever designed this guy spared a thought for people like me as they cavalierly splashed some white spots across the top easy as you please. 
Nine o'clock at night and I'm here stitching pollen onto petals? What even is my life? But all the pieces came together in the end. And then it was time for the grand reveal. There is our team of six Gen 1 Pokemon. And hopefully that gets all of the Pokemon out of my system. <laughs> okay, bye.